Happy holidays, everybody. I am so excited. This is my favorite time of year. I'm one of those people who annoyingly loves Christmas so much. So I wanted to go over my favorite and sexiest Christmas shoots of all time because these are truly a joy for me to shoot. I get to put on the Christmas music, annoy my crew. I get to decorate the tree. I get to decorate the girl. I get to undecorate the girl. And it just overall is like such a fun experience for me. So let's go over some of my favorite shoots that I've ever done. So we're gonna start with the very first Christmas shoot I ever did. This is back when I was working for my mom for a Suze-Net and I was a newbie photographer and I was shooting somebody who is still one of my closest friends, the one and only Amy Sweet. And we, this is such an iconic shoot. I love it so much. We shot her in front of this really cool like winter backdrop. This is back when we had like the money to rent painted backdrops. We put her in a sled. We had fake snow all over the ground. We put her in this cute little sweater. I just remember having so much fun with that shoot, like throwing the snow up in the air. And I got, I think what was, if not my first cover, one of my first magazine covers. Remember magazines back when they existed? Um, of Gallery Magazine, and I remember being so excited about it to get a magazine cover back when magazines were a thing was a big deal, and I got it with this shoot. So the shoot is special to me for so many reasons, and um, yeah, what a trip down memory lane it is to look at those pictures again. So next on my list is Caitlin McSwain for Playboy Plus, and interestingly enough, there's actually a connection between this set and the one that I just talked about. That pink Christmas tree that you see in the set actually belongs to Amy Sweet. Um, Amy let me borrow it for the shoot. I just thought it was so cool. It was like this hot neon pink Christmas tree and how like fashionista is that? And so I just thought it would be really fun to do with Caitlin, dress her up in some white lingerie. You know, it's like Christmas, but with like a modern twist on it. I have to say though, when I was wrapping that tree up to put it away, I don't know what chemicals are on it, like what kind of plastic chemicals, but it gave me hives all over my arms, which lasted for days. So um, that tree looks really cool, but don't touch it. All right, so my next shoot is with one of my favorite models and one of my dearest friends, Danny Daniels. Um, this one was pretty simple in terms of like, it didn't need too much set decorating. The location that we were shooting at was this place in Eagle Rock that I loved. Um, the woman who owned it was an interior designer and every room had this really cool design to it and looked very different. And this was one of the rooms, it was like all red with red wallpaper. So that red and white theme for Christmas, really all you gotta do is like throw some candy canes in there, maybe a little bit of silver ribbon and you're good to go. And obviously Danny is so much fun to shoot and you know, definitely got into the Christmas spirit with me. So uh, we had a lot of fun uh, putting that set together. All right, the next one is another one for Playboy Plus. This is with Allie Rose and Cyber Girl of the Year, Elizabeth Marks. And I shot them in front of a Christmas tree, in front of a roaring fire, kind of like the typical Christmas scene with two naturally busty, beautiful girls. Because it was Playboy, it was softcore, so nothing like too risque went on, but it was still a really fun, uh, shoot to do. We shot it at my friend's house where I love to work and um, you know, same thing. We just got to put on Christmas music. I got to shoot two girls that I really enjoy working with and um, they had a lot of fun with each other and uh, I think it shows in the photos. Okay, next one, Elle Alexandra. There wasn't a person who didn't love Elle. She was so much fun. She was such an amazing model and I absolutely loved working with her. So. Looking at this shoot, it actually makes me a little bit nostalgic because we shot this in my old studio, which I used to have in downtown LA, which um, I had for a couple of years. There was a lot of limitations to it, so it was a little bit frustrating, but it was still like a really fun place to go and be able to design my own sets and work in and obviously not like be looking at the clock and like worrying about paying by the hour. So that kind of gives you some freedom. And so we built this set 
Now those walls that you see, like those red padded walls were literally like my favorite kind of set walls ever. I did those in a bunch of different colors. The way that the light hits the satin is just so beautiful and it really just worked so well. And so of course, all you gotta do to make it Christmas themed is put a bunch of presents in front of it and a bunch of fake snow on the ground. And as you can see from the photo, we had a really big box that we half wrapped and we had L pop out of it. Um, that was a really fun shoot. So great to work with L. one of my favorites, definitely. Okay, next one is another Girl Girl for Playboy Plus. So it means it's a soft core one, of course, but it doesn't mean that it's not sexy. This one is with Jenna Sativa and Emily Bloom. And once again, two incredible models. I can't say enough about either one of them. And, you know, a lot of fun to shoot. We shot Jenna in green, we put Emily in red. So they had that like kind of green and red contrast, did the usual in front of the fireplace with a Christmas tree. We actually shot this in front of my parents' fireplace. So if you've seen this fireplace before, it's because it's literally like at our house and we've shot in front of it a million times, but it's a great fucking fireplace. So why wouldn't I shoot in front of it? It's like perfect for Christmas. And uh, yeah, that was just another like really fun shoot with two really adorable girls, um, great roaring fire. The funny thing about shooting in front of that fireplace is that you like, you know, you wanna make it really big, right? So that it shows up photographically on film, but when you make it really big, it gets really hot. So you have to make sure that you build the set kind of like a little bit away from the fire and also bring the girls away from the fire because they will literally like, their skin will start to turn red and they'll get really hot. So it's not unusual if we're doing a shoot in front of the fire to have to like take breaks and the girls have to like step out away from the fire and kind of, you know, like go cool off. But the option to turn the fire down isn't really an option because then it won't, you know, have that big fire impact, which is really what you need for photos. So it's kind of like one of those things that you just gotta like take a couple breaks, let the girls cool off, bring them back in front of the fire. All right, next one. Do you recognize that scenario? Um, yes, it's the exact same fireplace that I just mentioned. The exact same corner. We always shot the same way just because of the background. Um, there's a couple of different decorations. We hung like a Merry Christmas thing over the fireplace. Obviously there's the tree. So yeah, this is kind of like the typical Christmas scenario. Um, this time with two naturally busty, beautiful women as well, but because it was for twisties, it was a little bit more spicy, shall we say, than the Playboy Plus scenes that I shot. I actually remember this scene because I think the idea was it was like two stepsisters, surprise, um, who were home for the holidays and they like, didn't like each other. And so there was supposed to be this cat fight between them in like the hallway before they come downstairs to uh, take Christmas photos. And, you know, I told them, I'm like, okay, you know, have this cat fight, but like, you know, don't really hurt each other. And they like went at it. Like, I think they really wanted to put on a very uh, realistic and believable fight. And I remember just the whole time being like terrified, like, please don't hurt yourselves. Like, don't make bruises. And um, yeah, it was pretty intense, but uh, you know, it was all in good fun. And um, the ensuing scene afterwards was pretty hot. All right, the next one is my most recent shoot with December's bombshell of the month, the one and only Lena Paul. So this is one that I just shot and, you know, same kind of idea. We wanted to use a lot of reds, but this time we wanted to make it like kind of a sexier, darker Christmas shoot. We didn't want to go for the typical Christmas tree and everything that you've seen in a lot of the other photos. Um, Amber, my stylist, really wanted to do something where Lena was kind of like more fetishy and more devious. So we got this really sexy low cut dress. Um, we got like a stocking for her, but we also like brought in a bull whip and a couple of other like sinister elements to just kind of give it that edgy feel. We just didn't want to create something that looks like every other Christmas shoot. Not that I don't love how every other Christmas shoot looks, but just for something different. And I think it worked out really well for Lena. And obviously shooting Lena Paul is a dream come true. What an incredibly fun day on set. Here we have the beautiful, busty, and good friend of mine, Jelena Jensen. And we are once again, fireplace Christmas tree motif, but it's not the same fireplace that you've seen in the last couple of photos. Yes, this is a fireplace and an entirely 
different location. I actually really loved this spot. This was somewhere out in Agora Hills that was just like, had this kind of Moroccan style to it. And it had this, this fireplace was huge and grand and really beautiful. And I loved shooting in front of it. The problem was though, of course, like, I don't know, there was something wrong with the chimney and it would always like smoke out the inside of the house and the ceilings were incredibly high. So it was really hard for us to like de-smoke the house, which I'd always of course try to do before the owner got home because nobody wants to come home and like their house is full of smoke. So we would always, if we were gonna do the fireplace, we always shot it first so that we had the rest of the day to like air the house out and try to get the smoke out. Um, you would think that maybe he'd just fix his fireplace, but I don't know. I don't think he ever used it, so I only used it for shoots, but it was well worth it. Um, and also there's a beautiful woman in front of the fireplace. Maybe we could talk about her as well instead of me just going on about a fireplace forever. Um, Jelena's obviously, you know, one of the most incredible models. Um, she comes from, we kind of jokingly say uh, together that she comes from like the old school glamour style of modeling. She was somebody that my mom used to shoot. So she comes back from the magazine days when all you did was take photos. So she really learned how to pose and move her body. Whereas today it's so heavily video based that not every girl that I get like really understands how to model for pictures. But Jelena was one of those girls who absolutely knew how to nail those sexy magazine poses, which is what made shooting her so, so easy. All right, next shoot, you may see inspiration from the very first set that I showed you with Amy Sweet. This is Kiss of Sins and Danny Daniels. And yes, I pretty much copied that set with Amy Sweet. I got a sleigh, I got fake snow. This time though, I shot it in a white coat, very much like this one. And um, that was such a great shoot. I remember being so excited because Danny and Kissa had never worked together before. And if you've ever seen either one of their scenes, you know that they're both really amazing, intense performers. They both have beautiful, all natural, curvy bodies, like great butts. So the idea of finally bringing them together, I seriously thought that the, the universe might implode from like the magical energy of that scene. And they definitely did not disappoint. It was an amazing scene. It's on Twisties, by the way, if you wanna go check it out, I should probably mention that. But yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite Girl Girl scenes I've ever shot. And the fact that it was also Christmas themed made it all the more special to me. This set with Marika Hayes was an experience like no other. I went into the scene thinking, oh, I'm gonna shoot this cute little solo scene of this girl in front of a fireplace. I'm just gonna like throw something Christmassy on her. I didn't really have any set decoration. Honestly, it was just like a quick kind of solo set that I wanted to shoot before I, a boy girl scene that I was doing later. So I didn't put like too much effort into it, but um, it became a very memorable scene when Marika, who apparently is known for her squirting capabilities, which I did not know at the time, um, proceeded to have the most incredible squirting orgasm that I've ever seen in my entire life. I was shooting on the wide cam and I was kind of in close and thank God I was a little off to the left because the projection of her squirt went well past me and would have absolutely hit me had I been like a little bit over to the right. I have to say to this day, I have never seen anybody squirt like that ever. And I like had to find a mop, like no joke, like paper towels were not enough. I had to get a mop. I, it took me forever to clean that floor. And yes, I clean the squirt off the floor. I don't make anybody else do it. Um, I don't mind. And I figure it's my production. I may as well get in get in there and get the job done. I'm not too proud to clean squirt up off the floor. And um, I had my work cut out for me that day. So uh, that was, you know, one of the days that I realized always discuss with the talent beforehand if there's gonna be squirting because thankfully we were shooting on marble floors and thankfully we were shooting on like a pleather couch. So nothing got ruined, but like imagine if that was in some kind of grandiose bed or on a velvet couch with like rich Persian rugs. It's like my fucking nightmare, right? How do you explain that to the location owner? I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know she was gonna squirt fucking everywhere. 
yeah, nobody wants to have that conversation. So always have a pre-shoot discussion about squirting. That's what I learned from this Christmas set with Marika Hayes. Okay, next one is with Mia Malkova, who nobody has anything bad to say about Mia Malkova. She is incredible, such a beautiful girl, such a beautiful spirit, such a pleasure to work with her. This was for Twisties. This was in that same house that I had shot Danny Daniels in. You know, a lot of like really well-designed rooms. This was in the hallway and it has this kind of shiny red, um, almost plasticky looking paint on the wall, which looks cool to the eye, but to shoot it's actually quite a bitch because a lot of times you get strong light reflections in it. So it was always one of the situations where you kind of had to bring the light over. And I remember using the Christmas tree here to actually like kind of try to block the, um, seeing the source of the light in the walls. I also remember that this was at the end of the day and I think um, we were running overtime. And in order for me to get enough space between me and Mia, I had to open the patio doors and go back on the patio and it was freezing out and it was nighttime and I didn't have a sweater and it was really cold. Um, but uh, I survived and, you know, Mia came out looking adorable, dressed like a little snowman, even though I was the one who felt like a snowman while I was shooting that. But uh, overall, um, cute set despite the limitations of the space that I was working with. Nicole Aniston, I mean, what can you say? She's beautiful, she's kind, she's smart, she's spiritual, she's vegan, she's compassionate, she's basically just better than all of us, and we love her for that. So this was a fun little set that I did with her, once again, in front of a fireplace. Um, a cute little Christmassy outfit, Nicole with her incredible, like long, luscious, natural hair, um, you know, Nicole's just a pleasure to work with. She's one of my favorite girls and there's nothing like specific about this shoot that I stands out in my head, except for just that it was another day with Nicole, which is always an incredibly pleasant, wonderful day. And I think it came out beautifully. All right, very last set. I actually did not shoot this. This is, I'm paying a little homage to my mom here. This is Sylvia Saint. Shot for Sue's net. Um, same winter backdrop that we used for Amy Sweet from the very first picture set, if you remember. Uh, usually what we would do is we would rent these big painted backdrops because we had our own studio, and then we'd try to book a couple of different shoots in the same week using that same backdrop because it was expensive and it's a bitch to move around. So we shot Sylvia Saint in front of it um, with a cute little snowman, adorable little like wintry outfit, like fluffy Uggs, fake snow. Um, just really overall adorable, adorable shoot with an adorable girl. Um, some of you newbies may not remember Sylvia Saint. She is somebody who was really big back in like the early 2000s. Um, but if you haven't had the pleasure of familiarizing yourself with Sylvia's content, I would highly suggest that you do so. So that's it, my favorite Christmas shoots of all time. I hope that you enjoyed this. It was so fun to walk back down memory lane and look at these sets again. Definitely got me in the Christmas spirit. I hope it got you in the Christmas spirit too. And I also hope that you have an amazing, amazing holiday season. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single one of my updates. Happy holidays, guys.